I'm Jacob Buchanan. I work as a photographer and multimedia artist under the pseudonym Melting Giraffe. I like to deal with themes of identity, disassociation, and the suggestion of narrative. Moving Ghosts on the Surface is basically a series of anti-portraits of people wearing their favorite outfit at the time, taken in locations important to them, to suggest um, that portraiture doesn't just have to be about a face, and it is definitely just a performance. So moving ghosts, in my mind, is broken up into three main categories, one being the critique of portraiture. When I first started this project, um, it was at the beginning of 2019, the ending of 2018, and Instagram, I was at an all-time high for its user base, and it was oversaturated with these images claiming to be portraiture. Um, but they were just photos of people's faces, and they were completely empty in context. Like, they were misleading, and I wanted to do something that rejected that notion of portraiture. And so, and I wanted it to be uplifting, so I came up with moving gifts. Um, at the same time, I was reading into boudoir and the history of that, and it's Word origin comes from France, and it was originally a room that someone would go to to be by themselves. Um, and I thought that was kind of cool that that could be, if you took a photo of someone's room, that could be a portrait of who they are more so than their face. So off of that, I wanted to go um, with their clothes, because I absolutely love clothes and I think it's really a good indicator of someone's mood and who they are at the time of or period in their life as it changes throughout. And so I wanted to capture that without doing their face. An example of the location and outfit would be a good time to talk about Chrissy who at the time was a hip-hop artist writing an EP called If This Was Me. Um, and we set up this shoot to double as a moving ghost shoot and to and use this as his album cover for that EP. Um, we set up in his park that he um, played in growing up because those were his fond childhood memories and it's what set him on to be a track athlete through high school and college and led him into the military. And his EP at the time he was writing was a concept album called If This Was Me, where people always approached him as he was from the lower income, if he was ghetto, just because of the black fetishization in society at the time. And so he chose to wear all this jewelry and all this leopard, and then we incorporated his Nintendo 64, because he thought that was a better representation of who he was. So I, as a photographer, have always used self-portraiture. Um, one, because it's just easy to use my own body. It's there, it's convenient, and I can control the camera, and I don't have to tell someone else necessarily what to do. And so I've always used that to uh, explore new ideas, or if I want something done right away. On these ones, um, these were all taken during um, lockdown back in March at my childhood home. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun. This is my fence in my backyard. Um, the slide we used to play on was had dismantled, and so I thought it was funny to put it up to a fence. It was quite absurd. I think that's how we were all probably feeling at that time, too. Um, this right here was taken um, with a giant mirror. It was about six feet. Um, I accidentally broke it after the shoot. Um, but the whole point was because this was probably by July of the lockdowns and everything was just kind of dreamy and it was hopefully to represent escapism. I um, 
want to um, eliminate the face because when you look up definitionally of portraiture, there's two things that come up. The first one always being um, an image or representation of the likeliness of someone usually depicting the bust. So shoulder to a head is portrait frame. Then the second one is just an image or something, a representation of the likeliness of someone, and that can be more abstract. So I wanted to push the boundary of portraiture just being more than face, because I don't think all images represent who that person is. It just shows a physical manifestation, and I believe people are more than that. And I was hopefully trying to capture something more with their location and outfit choices. Most recently, since lockdown, um, you can't necessarily be next to people. I've been trying to find a way to social distance images, and I came up with Zoom or Zoom photos. Um, so I've done a few sets of people over Skype or WhatsApp, and we do the full set um, social distance on our phones. This here is Dominica. She's from Poland. Um, and they're taken at the Warsaw Airport because that's where she grew up as her father was a pilot. And so she really chose her outfit because she says it must be fashionable but comfortable enough to sleep in. So she can fall asleep in those airports. And we were lucky enough to get an airplane going right over her. I think the personal choice of location speaks to it being um, the anti-portrait, since it's not the face, but it's still representational of who all these subjects are. I chose to protect my images for two reasons. Um, one um, being that these have never been printed before, and the series has only lived digitally, and I thought it was interesting to display it still Lock it digitally. Um, even going more into that, this one here would be a screenshot from one of our Zoom calls, and I don't know how I feel about ever printing that. It was taken digitally and maybe should forever be digital. Yeah, the program I'm using is called HeavyM. It's a DJ software. There's um, five different really good ones um, out there, all kind of pricey, but you can rent them for months at a time. Um, they allow you to draw in space um, and drag different objects to project in those spaces. You often see them used for um, the visuals at concerts or EDM fests. If someone wants to own a piece, there are two options. You can either buy a digital file um, you can use that to set up a projector in your house. You, um, with one images, it's really easy. You just size it to the canvas that you're projecting on if you want to do it like that. Or you could buy a print. The prints are $120, where the digital file is $90. All right, for those of you who like to have more background info as you run the gallery, you can take your camera on your smartphone and come see on this right here. It'll bring you to a link to my website. As it loads, my phone's a little slow. And right here um, is, as you go from left to right around the gallery show, is my artist statement. And then it tells you a little background um, clip of each person. Well, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has participated. If anyone wants to know more info, I have a Zoom meeting Thursday, December 17th at 6.30 p.m. and I'll go in depth on all of the pieces.